Let's talk about online gambling and some trends investors should be watching. Joining me right now is Charles Gillespie, CEO and co-founder, Gambling.com Group. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for coming on when you have a stock reaction. I mean, I have to acknowledge the stock's down in a big way, 19, 20% today. But the cost of sales have been on the rise. Yeah. And we're, the cost of cash, um, we heard it from Palo Alto yesterday. How, how did you feel about the quarter? I mean, there, there are always pros and cons. Yeah, yeah it was a fantastic quarter. Uh, we grew, it's a record Q3 for us, 19% up on revenue. Uh, you know, we, we didn't, we, we, we met uh, Wall Street's expectations in terms of revenue and earnings per share. Uh, we didn't dramatically beat the numbers as we have done in, in some of the more recent quarters. But, uh, you know, from our perspective, it's a great quarter. Business is in great shape. We are uh, in, in line uh, and set up to hit our guidance for the full year. And, and yeah, and that's a question I was about to ask. When you confirm your 2023 revenue guidance, but at the same time, you have the pressures, uh, the cost of sales, um, being on the rise, you have a stock that's down in a big way today. Um, maybe uh, an uncertain environment to a certain extent, um, but you're able to sort of reiterate that guidance. How are you able to do that? What's going to drive everything going forward? Uh, so one thing that we've done, uh, which is starting to kind of come into its own here in the third quarter, is these media partnerships, mm -hmm. uh, and that's part of the reason why the cost of uh, sales has gone up. So we work with Gannett and McClatchy, two of the largest newspaper publishers right. in the United States, and we help oh, okay. them monetize sports betting traffic. You know, so if you go to usatoday.com slash betting, that's all us. It's like a mini website within the larger website, which we fully operate. And uh, you know, Gannett, the owners of the USA Today, they're a big partner of ours. Uh, but essentially, we run that, we book the revenue, and then we pay out uh, a portion of that to our partner. Mm -hmm. uh, and, th and that's why the cost of uh, sales is coming up slightly. Um, but that's a that, price to pay. That's an investment, right? Yeah, Isn't I mean, it? I mean, it, that's this, basically this is, this getting a, your name out there This is a profitable, cash flow, positive right. uh, business within our larger cash flow positive business. You know, we wouldn't do this if it didn't you know, make sense and, and fundamentally drive eyeballs. profitability and cash flow. So, yeah. um, you know, it's it's, from our perspective, it's entirely positive. And yeah. if I if I understood why the uh, stock was down today, I'd be a hedge fund manager instead of a uh, digital marketer. Uh, and look, I mean, in your opinion, you feel like things are going in the right way. And you're the one who sees the uh, the balance sheet all the time. You have a slew of names under the umbrella that you guide people towards. You're, are, how are you doing with getting more and more eyes on the site? Are you feeling like eye gambling is headed for records in the years ahead? Absolutely. Uh, there, there is nothing uh, that anyone could point to which would suggest anything other than tremendous growth ahead for the industry, not only in the United States, but around the world. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the industry kind of breaks down between sports betting and online casino. Right. And sports betting is, is, is a good business. It's a profitable business, but it's, the economics are, are far less favorable than the online casino business. You know, the players are more valuable. Uh, from our perspective, the cost of the content is less. Uh, you know, that online casino business is really uh, the golden goose, if you will. And uh, New York is considering uh, bringing in online casinos next year. So uh, New York, Illinois, a couple of other states, Indiana. So what will really move the needle for us in the U.S. in the coming years is, is an expansion of that online casino business. So as so you have 80,000 new depositing customers, you delivered more than that. Um, is that sort of the bar that you go on? Are you hoping to have 80,000 plus in the next round? Or are you going to say, we plan on doubling that? Or what would be some goals for you? Yeah, incrementally, Q4 is a seasonally better quarter than Q3. Mm -hmm. So we would expect uh, quarter on quarter growth in that number of new depositing customers referred in Q4. But you can't say much yet. It's too soon to tell. Yeah, I mean, analysts have, have their numbers, but um, you know, Q4 is a great quarter, Q1 is a great quarter. Yeah. Q3 is kind of a funny quarter because July and August are two of the quietest months of the year and then right. you make it back in September with the start of NFL. And you talk about sports versus casino. I mean, we think about casino and gamblers and you know, Baccarat and craps and poker. I mean, it's just, it just never ends. It's 24 seven and versus um, sports betting. But sports betting is also growing. What parts of sports betting 
are really growing because I, I think for online casinos and people really understand but for sports betting I mean you have college football you have I mean NASCAR is going on now right F1 is going on now there, there's just all these extra things it's not just the NFL and NBA anymore right for sure yeah I mean you can bet on anything under the sun at this point they even have uh, essentially like synthetic sports feeds of, of, of uh. fictitious events which oh, aren't really? even happening. Yeah. Which then, ones are growing? Which Where do you see the growth? Uh, the main growth in the industry in the U.S. is coming from new states coming online still. Oh, okay. So that's what it is. Uh, so, you know, we had Kentucky, which was the most recent launch. That was at the end of September. Uh, so there was just three days of, of legal sports betting in Kentucky in Q3, mm -hmm. and the rest of that will fall into Q4. Uh, right. But, you know, that was, that was a good launch, and uh, Gambling.com Group was... Uh, in a dominant position for the launch in Kentucky, and we were the number one partner of many of uh, the American sports books that rely on us for new player acquisition. What do you think of, um, and I, I don't think you consider them competition because you actually guide people to go to the places like Bet, what is it, Bet MGM, and like yeah. all the big casinos have online gambling. Um, how do you think they're all faring? Do you see some really doing well? Is there a notable one or two that you would say they've really impressed us? I mean, is it DraftKings? Is it who's yep. really impressing you by the way you're seeing the requests to get, go there, maybe? Yeah. Well, they're all of our clients. So asking right. me to pick one is kind of like well, asking me to pick a favorite about, child. I mean, the but... growth or, I mean, you're seeing like there's a lot of demand for, you know. Yeah. You know, if you if you if you bucket the operators into kind of tier one, tier two, tier three, you know, right. FanDuel, DraftKings at the top of the market, tier one, Caesars Bet, MGM, tier two, and then tier three being everyone else and the newcomers like ESPN Bet, it's those tier two and tier three operators which are hungriest to grow and take market share, which tend yeah. to be our best clients. So we work most closely with those operators and and um, have nothing but good things to say about them. Any, any um, guesses what might happen at ESPN? Well, judging on the uh, first two days of data I have seen, it's, uh, they will be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I mean, there was even talk about um, the NFL and, and NBA taking a stake in that, an equity stake in there, and we'll see what Disney does there, but it's still extremely popular. Thank you so much, Charles Always Gillespie. A pleasure. Thank you so much for being with us, CEO and co-founder of gambling.com group.